Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil Hollinsworth and today in this video, I'm with Jeremy Smith from Southern Roots, Alabama. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can check out his Facebook page. He does some um, surf fishing charters, so check him out. But today he's gonna show you how to make a ghost shrimp pump. You guys have seen us pumping for ghost shrimp recently. We wanted to show you, do a how-to video about how you can build a ghost shrimp pump. Very cheap, very easy. It takes about 10 minutes to put together, so stay tuned. That's coming at you right now. All right, today we're gonna make a pump for ghost shrimp. What you need to do to make the pump you need a piece of two inch pipe you can go to the hardware store and buy it already cut at two feet you can buy it in four feet or you can buy 10 foot sections depending on how many you want to make and how much money you want to save if you buy one in two foot sections it's a little bit more money but i bought an eight foot section so i was able to cut it in threes then you'll need a two inch cap and you drill out a one inch hole out of the top as close to the center as possible and what we'll do is we're going to end up gluing that on right there on the cap. Then what you need is a, I call them a plunger. But what it is is if you drill a hole in your four inch pipes to, drain, to fix a clog, you can put this in there, tighten this up, and that fills in that hole that you cut in your drain lines. This one will be two inches also. When you get it, You'll need to cut the bottom one because it'll be about an inch wider. You'll need to cut the bottom one along the circle ridge right there. You'll see a line. You can use a four inch grinder like I did. And then you replace this because this will be rusted up in about an hour in the salt water. So you can put that to the side. And you can buy 5 16 18 inch, or that's 18 is the thread wing nuts and then you can buy the bolts that are 5 16 you can buy them all thread or just partially I prefer the all thread and I'll show you why later in the video and you take this all apart that'll be what this looks like once it's all tear apart and ready to go alright the next thing you need is a 3 quarter inch piece of PVC pipe or C PVC pipe the PVC would be white, the CPVC would be a cream color. I had a bunch of this at home, so I just use this so I don't have to go out and buy any. And what you do is you take a T, that would end up being your handle. You can add half inch pieces there and then caps on it so you have a nice wider handle. Something like this one right here, if you prefer that. But this right here actually is all you need. Then you need a three quarter inch cap, and that just slides on right there. And what we do is you take this where the cone shape's going up, the rubber boot, this part going down, thread it like that. That's how it's going to end up going. So you put it in here like this. just like that and then this will be glued on top of that what we're do now is we're going to glue the cap on take this and make sure the cap's got a one inch hole in the center now this is all glued up we have our T glued on there. This right here is the original part that came off of the plunger. I just put that on there as a stopper. 
So when we put that on there, that's where it's going to stop. This is the bolt that we changed out, the stainless steel one, the three quarter inch cap with the hole in the center. And then what you do, put that on there to the stopper. Tighten it down so that you feel the pressure or the friction in the tube. Like that. Make sure you're pointing this up and down this way. If it's like that, you're going to hit the handle all the time. This right here to hit it where the rubber washer is on the back. And there's your ghost shrimp pump. There's a couple. Three. Two. Two. That's awesome. It was a good hole.